This is Jupiter Today for the 22nd of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant 4, heading east. Europa starts the day in quadrant 3, heading west. Ganymede starts the day at Eastern Elongation and is going to be moving into Quadrant 3 heading west. And Callisto starts today in Quadrant 1 heading east, moving towards its Eastern Elongation. At 542 UTC, EO goes through an apogee. That's the furthest distance it is from Jupiter in its orbit. And that's 423,523.5 kilometers. At 6 hours UTC, EO is in quadrant 4, heading east. Europa is still in quadrant 3, heading west. And Callisto has now moved past its eastern elongation and has moved into quadrant 2, going to be heading west the rest of the day. At 12 hours UTC, EO has moved behind Jupiter. From Earth's point of view, this blue line is the line of sight to Earth. And is now in quadrant 1, heading east. Europa is just about to move past its western elongation, and going to be moving into quadrant 4, heading west, heading east. At 18 hours UTC, EO is Still in quadrant one, heading east. Going to be moving through its eastern elongation. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO has moved past that eastern elongation and is now in quadrant two, heading west. Europa is in quadrant four, heading east. And Ganymede and Callisto are both in quadrant two, heading west. There's two Jupiter satellite events today. At 9.06 UTC, EO moves behind Jupiter. And at 11.48 UTC, EO reappears from behind the shadow of Jupiter. There are two satellite mutual events today. The first goes from 2.04 to 2.11 UTC, when Europa occults EO. And it's a 6.4 minute event, with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.571 magnitudes. And that's 100.72 arc seconds from Jupiter. And then at 2.41 to 2.48 UTC, Europa eclipses EO. And that's a 7.4 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.896. That's a nice deep eclipse. And it's 95.55 arc seconds from Jupiter, and Europa and EO are 13.96 arc seconds apart. Visibility of this event is some of Western Europe, Western Africa, a lot of South America, and most of North America. Okay, orbital ribbons for today. These are just the temporal connections between the four Galilean moons. These are the same orbits that you just saw. And I've just connected the same times to give these shapes. So there's the connection between Io and Europa today and Eo and Ganymede and Eo and Callisto and then Europa and Ganymede and Europa and Callisto and finally Ganymede and Callisto, that's a nice sheet there 
And I combine them all and colorize them a little bit to show that today. All right, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter, looking out over the next 24 hours to see what's happening out there from Jupiter's point of view. Here goes Eo into the shadow of Jupiter. And there he pops back in. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, the first at 539 and the second at 1535. There were no new images and no new radio data and no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 12 minutes, 50.6 seconds. A declination of positive 17 degrees, 8 minutes, 25.7 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 162.605 degrees, and that's 1.129 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today is 3.178 degrees, and that's 0 0.201 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 655 million 973,551 kilometers, and that's 709,012 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a relative radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 29,542.17 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,883.21 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 798,390,717 kilometers, and that's 45,792 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,908 kilometers per hour, and that's 1.54 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 354.38 degrees, CM2, 253.1 degrees, CM3, 165.68 degrees. So please subscribe, and thank you to those who have subscribed and are watching and listening. I'm always trying to improve this podcast with different points of view to get a sense of what's happening up at Jupiter. It's a very dynamic place. So you can send your suggestions and your questions and your comments and your images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.